Hi, it's Dr. Janet Pope reporting at Room Now from ULAR 2024 in lovely Vienna. I'd like to give you the top three messages about jack inhibitor safety. So I was part of a debate and the debate was today on uh, a topic of our regulatory bodies too harsh in the recommendations on jack inhibitors with respect to safety and restricting prescribing. And the bottom line that came out of this debate, as well as the data that both David Liu and I reviewed, are avoid jack inhibitors in high-risk patients. And there's risk, and then there's high risk. So the risk is all kind of relative, so to speak. So the higher risk patients from oral surveillance that was looking at safety was um, age over 65, ever or heavy or current smoking, high cardiovascular risks such as already having myocardial events, and high malignancy risks such as smoking, older age, and more in men. So the audience voted slightly more than half that the regulations are too harsh. So what would I say? Top three things, do a shared decision um, with the uh, use of JAK inhibitors and uh, use them in caution when appropriate and high risk patients or even medium high risk patients with cardiovascular or malignancy risk. Do stratify the risk as some risks are far more relevant. Past MI or revascularization is a lot higher chance of having another MI than borderline high cholesterol or mild hypertension. And smoking is a big risk. So my call to action is identify who's smoking and try to help the patient stop smoking. That should reduce their cardiovascular risk and it also decreases over time the risk of cancer. Please follow us with lots of reports at Room Now. Thank you.